Hello friends, this video on cubes and cube roots part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at the second method of finding cube root of a perfect cube and the second method is estimation method. So this is a simple three step process which helps us to estimate the value of cube root. So let us take the same number that is the same uh, cube root. So we have to find out the cube root of 175616. So just now we have found the cube root of this number using the prime factorization method. So let's look at this method now. So we will go step by step. So the first step is that take the number, divide it into groups of three digits and start this division from the units digit. So this is six is the units digit. So start from six groups of three. So these are the two groups that are formed. Let us call this group one. Let us call this group two. So that's your step number one. Step number two, units digit of group one decides the units digit of the cube root. So in step two, we focus only on group one. So here group one is 616. Now focus on the units digit of group one. So units digit is six. Now for any number whose units digit is six, the last digit of the cube root would be how much? We know that six cube is equal to 216. So any number ending with 6, its cube also ends with 6, right? So that means here the units digit is 6, therefore the units digit of the cube root would also be 6. Perfect. Now in step number 3, the units digit of the perfect cube that is smaller than group 2 forms the tenth digit of the cube root. So now we will focus on group 2 which is 175. Now here we have to find out a perfect cube which is less than or equal to 175. So let us look at the first few perfect cubes. 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125, 6 cube is 216. So 216 is greater than 175 so it will not do. So what is that value which is less than 175? That is 125. So 125 is the value which is less than 175. Now focus on the units digit of 125. So units digit is 5. So this 5 will become the tenth digit of the cube root. So the cube root of this number will be 56. And this is exactly the same result that we obtained by the prime factorization method. So here you would have seen that we did not do any multiplication or division or factorization. We just did a kind of estimation. So that is why it is called estimation method. So let us try one more uh, cube root uh, with the estimation method. So let's say we have to find out the cube root of 110592. So let's do it step by step. So in step 1 we form the groups of the numbers. So 110592. So 2 is the units digit. So from this side you divide it into groups of 3. So this is group 1. This is group 2. Perfect. In now in step number 2 what do we do? We focus on group 1. So group 1 is 592. Units digit of group 1 is 2. So if any number has 2 at the end, what would be its cube? So normally we have learned that any number ending with 2, its cube would end with 8. Right? So therefore, the units digit of the cube root would be 8. Fine. Now let's move on to step 3. So in step 3 we focus on group 2. So group 2 is 110. So we need to find out a perfect cube which is less than or equal to 110. So we know that 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125. So 125 is greater than 110. So that will not do. So 64 would do because 64 is less than 110. Now let's focus on the units digit of 64. That is 4. Therefore 4 would be the tenth digit here. So 48 would be the cube root of 110592. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.